無駄な争いをどうして Illustrious is an SR carrier from the Royal Navy and is the lead ship of the biggest ship class in the game, the Illustrious class which is a class of armored aircraft carriers. This class of ship is really unique, since aside from Teho of the Sakura Empire, only the Illustrious class are the ones who have heavy armor, while all the other carriers only got medium and light armor. This obviously had both an advantage and disadvantages but all in all. The heavy armor helps a lot with their survivability. In a sense, Illustrious can be considered a starter carrier due to how easy it is to obtain her. She can be obtained through the special build tab in the build section as well as from the exchange section for 80 medals. She can also be obtained through the beginner quest as a reward which you have to pick from a list of ships which includes Enterprise and Hood as well as San Diego. She is also available as one of the SR ships you can choose from during various events such as during the anniversary and the new year event. As you can see, there are various options, where you can get illustrious which makes her one of the easiest to obtain of all the SR carriers. Stats wise, illustrious isn't really the best carrier out there. She has 6561 hit points which is complemented by her heavy armor making her a hard enough to crack compared to other carriers. She also has 296 points in anti-air, 117 points in reload, and 400 points in aviation, which is coupled with 135% air efficiency for both of her fighters, and 110% air efficiency for her torpedo bomber. Illustrious is also a really unique ship. Since unlike most carriers, she does not have a slot for dive bombers, instead she has two slots for fighters, and one slot for torpedo bomber. This lets her perform good as an interceptor, but have problem competing with other carriers in terms of damage output due to the fact that she doesn't have any dive bomber. Of course she can still deal a bit of damage with bombs her fighter is carrying but this isn't comparable to the damage output an actual dive bomber can deal especially if it is a BTD-1 destroyer or SB to see hell diver. This is a reason why Illustrious is treated more like a tanky light carrier instead of an actual fleet carrier since she is better at supporting the fleet and dealing with enemy aircraft instead of putting out tremendous damage like the first carrier division or enterprise. Illustrious like Enterprise also only has one skill which is called Armored Carrier. This skill is a support type skill that lets Illustrious deploy a barrier for your vanguard that absorbs all types of damage equivalent to 10% of Illustrious's maximum health. If you think this skill is boring and useless, then you are badly mistaken. You see, unlike the shield skill that a lot of other ships has which can only block small caliber shells from the enemy, the barrier that Illustrious deploys is capable of blocking everything including torpedo and bombs as well as large caliber shells from even battleships, and if you consider it, 10% of Illustrious's maximum health is more than 50% of the maximum health of most destroyers. This skill lets your destroyers tank any damage source that they otherwise cannot dodge. You also don't need to worry about any damage by passing the barrier like how any kind of damage source aside from small caliber shells would with shield, since it is capable of blocking damage from any type of source, even grinding damage from lasers, fired by boss type enemies though it can only do so for a few seconds, since the grinding damage can easily saturate and break the barrier. The barrier disappears after 8 seconds or after absorbing damage equivalent to 10% of Illustrious's maximum health. As you see, this skill makes Illustrious a very good starter ship, since you are most likely suffering from severe lack of capable support ship as well as good equipment, when you are just a beginner. I personally have experienced this, and this armored carrier skill of Illustrious is certainly a lifesaver especially during critical moment, when your vanguard is extremely low on health, and is in desperate need of anything that can help them block any damage. Also if you are wondering, shield breakers like the twin 100mm type 98AA gun don't work against this barrier, since the only way to break it is to make it absorb enough damage, or wait for it to disappear after 8 seconds. This is obviously different from shields, since shields breaks after taking a certain number of hits. This means even Kitakaze or Laffy isn't capable of easily breaking this barrier by main gun hit alone like how they would easily do with shields deployed by the likes of Z23 or Prinzoigen. Now onto her dear. Due to the fact 
that Illustrious doesn't have any slot for Dave Bomber, any fighters that either carry a weak bomb payload, or doesn't carry anything at all is a no-go. This means that the A6M50 and all the Iron Blood fighters are fighters you should avoid giving to Illustrious. Instead, you should give her an F6F Hellgut or a C Fang, since both carry two 500 pound bombs. The A7M Rapool is also a good option for the same reason. You can also give her a Spitfire or F4U Corsair as an alternative, though the F6F Hellgut and the C Fang are better options. For her torpedo bomber, I recommend the Barracuda, if you want to give her a common torpedo bomber or the HEB-7A Ryuzui, if you want to give her a Sakura torpedo bomber instead. The common torpedo bomber is good for dealing with numerous enemies or fast bosses like destroyers or like cruisers, while the Sakura torpedo bombers are great for dealing concentrated damage to slow or stationary targets like battleships or backliners in PvP. The Blackburn Firebrand is also a good option though you should reserve it to other more powerful carriers like Enterprise due to it being an event only item during the Winter's Crown event. Due to this, the TBF Avenger is a more feasible option for a common torpedo bomber, while the Nakajima B6M Tenzin is a good alternative for a Sakura torpedo bomber. For her auxiliary, the Steam Catapult and the Homing Bacon I mean Homing Beacon are the best option for her. You can also give her an aviation oil tank as an alternative. The VH armor plating is a big no-go just in case you are thinking of giving it to her to boost the barrier of her armored carrier skill. The same goes for any health type auxiliary that isn't aviation related. While this gives Illustrious more health which, in turn boosts the barrier deployed by her skill. The benefit it gives is very minimal and the equipment itself is very impractical due to the fact that they don't contribute anything at all except for giving additional health which isn't really that worth it. For fleet formation, Illustrious is best paired with her personal escort carrier, HMS Unicorn since their skill complement each other. Pairing the two of them on your main fleet can make your otherwise fragile vanguard far more tankier, since Illustrious can protect your vanguard with her armored carrier skill, while Unicorn can both heal them and boost their reload with her own skills. Illustrious is a great ship both for mob clearing and boss fight, since her skill can keep your ships in good shape, even if the match drags on for too long. The Illustrious Unicorn pair is also a great option for fighting boss simply because they can help your vanguard stay in the fight longer thanks to the heal and barrier combination. Shoho is also a good option for a healer to pair up with Illustrious, but Unicorn is the one that you should go with for the sake of historical and anime accuracy. Like always, this are just my recommendation and everyone is free to either use it or ignore it. I know I said in my previous video that I will be making a tutorial video, but then I realized how hard it was to do it in the first place. The thing is that when I started playing the game, the only videos I ever watched for Azalane were Waifu Lane the shipping ship game and my thoughts on Laffy from Hawk 2.0, and aside from that, I pretty much just winged everything and figured out the game mechanics myself, and only started asking for advice from veteran players just recently, when I started making this ship tutorial videos. With this in mind, I figured that I won't be good at making tutorial videos like how to get started in the game and such, but I might still make a video about equipment and ship analysis in the future. That's it for this video, and for next week, we will be talking about the Loyal Light Carrier, that is always together with Illustrious, HMS Unicorn. If you like this video then please, do leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. Well then, I will see you guys around.